Welcome to NumPy series. Today we will start with indexing and slicing. So first let us know how to access values. Accessing values is just as Python. Here also indices starts with zero. So here when we write ARR1 NP.ARange50 and when I print this, print ARR1, it will give values from 0 to 49 as last value is always exclusive. This we have discussed in the last video. Now in this video we will see how to access values. Like if I want to write here ARR1 24 it will return the value 24. Now what if, if I want to write here ARR1 24 equal to 45 and when I print ARR1, it will return all the values from 0 to 49 but in the index 24, it will write here 45. So this is assigning of values. Now let's see for diagonals also. Here in ARR2, we have np.diagonal. np.diagonal in the sense, we have 3 cross 3 matrix where diagonal has been defined. So, these value will be 1, 2, 3 and rest will be 0. So, when I will ask Jupiter to print this, it will give the matrix where we have diagonal values as 1, 2, 3. Now here if I want to assign the values like 2, 1 as 5, here we have 0, 1, 2, this one 0, 1, 2 and for 2, 1 that means 2 row and 1 matrix. I am asking interpreter second row 1 column that means this 0 to be 5. So I have assigned this value as 5. Now let's see how it is printing over here. It has printed this value as 5. Now let's move forward. Now let's see slicing. Now here in slicing we asked here 8 from 0 to 9. As the last value is always exclusive. So here it will start from 0 and end at 9. Now slicing always works on indexing. Here we have the first index. The first value will be start index. Second value will be end index. But it also follows exclusive. Because here the last value will be exclusive. And this is always a step size. Now when we see here. We have ARR3 NP.A range from 0 to 9 and it is asking ARR3 272. Now let's see. Here we have 272 that means it starting from this index and will end at this index and here it will work with plus 2 step size. That means 2, 4 and 6 as 7 is the last value so it won't be included so let's check it so when i print this we got 246 now if we have just the starting index so what it will do it will just start from here from 2 and will end at 9 because as an index has not been given so it will be considered as last value step size if it is not given plus 1 will be taken as step size. So when I print this, I'll get 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now we have NumPy array which has been allotted to letter variable. Now it is asking letters 2 to 5. For this we should have indexing from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Now it is saying 2 to 5 that means from 2 to 4 all values it will take because fifth value will be exclusive. So here it will return 5, 7, 9. Let's calculate all the positive index first. Now we have 5 to 
end value end value has not been specified that means it will be taken as last value so here it will take from 7 5 so it will return 7 and 5 now we have just colon colon means start and and step start and that means from first value it should take to the last and step by default should be plus one that means it will return the input as it is in the output so here we have one three five seven nine seven five now we will see negative index we have start to minus five start will be taken from zero index but minus five as positive value is always in the left to right direction so negative will be taken in the reverse direction that means it will start from minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 minus 6 minus 7 so it is saying from 0 to minus 5 that means 0 value to minus 5 so here minus 5 will be exclusive so it will take just 1 and 3 then comes start to end complete values but should be in the minus 1. Minus 1 means in the reverse direction. So here it will write 5, 7, 9, 7, 5, 3, 1. All the values but in the reverse order. So let's cross verify our answers. So here I'll go. Here we have first is 5, 7, 9. Second is 1, 3, third is 7, 5, then 1, 3, 5, and the last one will be in the reverse order. Now let's make it more interesting. As we have in ARR 5, 1, 2, 3, which has the index 0, 1, 2, it is saying that in array 5, 0 and 1, as the last value is never exclusive. So here, instead of 0, 1, include this 4 and 5 this is assignment so here it is saying to include this 4 and 5 instead of 1 2 so here it will write 4 5 and will copy 3 as it is so now what is our arr 5 4 5 3 so when we run this we got the same now here in ARR6, we have np.a range 4, that means 0, 1, 2, 3. And here the reverse order, minus 1 is reverse order, that means it should be converted to 3, 2, 1, 0. And should be given to ARR5. ARR5 from 3 onwards. We, here we have 0, 1, 2. From 3 onward, include this value in this. So, what will be our result value? 4, 5, 3, 3, 2, 1, 0. So, when we check this, here we have 4, 5, 3 as it is. And 3, 2, 1, 0 of array 5 will be included in this array. Copies and views. As this concept is very sensitive, I want you guys to understand this very clearly. So I want to explain this concept with the help of small example. Suppose a family has two children and they demanded for cycle. But parents ask them to have just one cycle only as they have some limited resources. So they decided to share one cycle with them. So they used the same bicycle for their usage. If cycle got punctured by one person, then the other person also gets affected similarly. We have an array A which have 0 to 9. Likewise, B also have part of A. It creates its sub array where it has 0 to 4, 6, 8. Now, when they ask np.shares memory between A and B, it is said true. So, here also, we have an array which has A and B also creates a sub array of B. As parents were short of money, here to be efficient of space, A and B points to the same location. B is pointing to the sub array but at same location. 
so for memory optimization a and b points to the same using view this is also called shallow copy here we have a and b if i make any changes in b a will automatically will get affected as like cycle if one person got cycle puncture the other person work will also get affected by that so if i assign value for b3 is equal to 5 and here when i print a what value i'll get then a value will also get affected by making one change in b so this is shallow copy slicing always follows shallow copy but here if i want this to follow deep copy what if here i'll write so for this i'll take a as it is and here i'll create a variable c is equal to a 3 and here i'll force a deep copy over here and then i'll ask whether a and b shares the memory it says false because deep copy never shares the memory if here i'll make any changes in c let's see when i write c 0 is equal to 10 and here when i print a it will give a as it is there will be no changes in c whereas in shallow copy or view there will be a change in a if we make any changes to b because it is pointing to the same memory location thanks for watching drop a like leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe, subscribe.